Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of Sauvignons in front of me, maybe not from the most, uh, the, the first places that spring to mind when you think of Sauvignon. One of them maybe, but um, uh, I've got a Chilean one, so that's the sort of more typical one. But I'm starting with a wine from Piemonte, uh, from a uh, from the uh, Marchese di Grezi estate, which is best known for its Barbaresco, but they also make this Sauvignon. 2013 Langhi Sauvignon. Uh, let's dig in. Well, it smells like Sauvignon. It has that sappy, zippy, crisp citrus freshness. Like maybe a little bit, a bit of apple in there. Um, sometimes with Italian Sauvignons, particularly those from a bit further east in, um, in, in Friuli, uh, you get a pungency about them. But I don't really get that. As, well, what, what I mean by pungency, uh, that slight quince, maybe uh, the tang of rhubarb. But I hear it's, it feels quite conventional for Sauvignon. It smells good, but conventional. Then when you taste it, that dry, herby character uh, kicks in. Uh, there is this richness and freshness of fruit. Uh, yeah, it's the, the ripe apples, the, the lemon, and a little bit of gooseberry in there. But this is herby character behind it that uh, keeps your mouth entertained. Um, and the finish, it, yes, it's got quite rich fruit flavours, but then, then a, a dry, slightly stony finish. Um, definitely wine I want with food rather than by itself. Nice wine though, good. Uh, second one uh, is a Longarvi uh, 2013, um, uh, yeah, Longarvi de los Andes, Chile, Sauvignon Blanc uh, made by Julio Bouchon. Um, and whereabouts are we from? Yeah, from later. In, uh, now, as far as I understand, the reason this wine um, it, it's, uh, exists is uh, there's a UK importer called Bancroft Wines, and I think that the Bouchon family of Chile met up with another of their um, the, the wines that uh, uh, the Bancroft import uh, from uh, yeah from David Nienvoet of South Africa. I can't remember what his name the name of his estate is, but uh, these two just got chatting when they were together at the Bancroft trade tasting. If I've got the story wrong, someone will probably whack me around the head, but uh, that, that's how I, I understood it. They met in England and decided to collaborate on this wine. So um, let's give it a whirl and see, uh, see what it's like. It's another 2013, so six months older than the uh, uh, than the, uh, the the Langhi Sauvignon for the Italian one, um, and uh, I noticed an, an extra weight of fruit here. Uh, there's much more of that gooseberry, slight passion fruit uh, character going on here. It maybe doesn't. It smells like it's. Uh, sweetness of fruit rather than uh, active sweetness. It, it, smell, it smells like it's going to be sweeter, riper, juicier, better. Let's have a see. Yeah, that passion fruit really coming through quite strongly. Um, um, and um, uh, it, it, in its favour, there is this juiciness and there's this roundness and uh, quite a voluptuous character. It's almost so, uh, Sauvignon for Chardonnay fans. Against it, um, and why I probably marginally prefer the... Uh, uh, the the Italian I find the I find it just almost like a little bit too rich I'm just wondering because um, it's 2013 and we're uh, in autumn uh, northern hemisphere autumn 2015 here I'm just wondering what it would have been like a year ago whether it would have had a little bit more firmness and crispness about it I like it now but and I could drink it by itself I wouldn't say that about the uh, uh, the Langy one but I prefer the Langy one just for those sleeker lines. Uh, so that's the one I think I'm going to be digging into a glass of this evening. See you soon.